How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video all about the next steps for the Mastermind Easter Egg. Now, what I think's happened is we've overlooked the records. Now, a lot of big YouTubers covered this and said, these are the records, this is what it is, it's linked to this, it's linked to the Mastodon. We've overlooked it because they act the exact same way as the headphones did. So, if we are looking at what people told us, what do we know about the records? Just a little bit of an easter egg. Uh, links to the Mastodon, links to the Jaws with, um, we're going to need a bigger moat. But in the background is some gameplay of showing, of me showing you the five locations the records can show up in. So this is the first one, where mine actually appeared, uh, on the outside. Why is this important? Because they act like the headphones, they change positions every time you load into another game. Later on in the video, in the background, you'll be able to see I've uh, captured more gameplay of me going into another game, and the record has changed positions to the last one. So it just proves that they, that they act exactly the same as the headphones. Now, why is this important? So, essentially, I think that the records are the next step for the Easter egg. And why do I think that? Because I think we're going to have to in the next update, find the records, bring them to the record player, find some music, manipulate the music in some way, shape or form, find a code or message and then work out the next steps. Now Stone Mountain 64, you probably know him, he captured it some gameplay when the Swayers uh, April Fool's Day prank happened and inside the meteorite he captured the Wells. Now why am I bringing Wells up? Well. H.G. Wells worked with Charles Masterman at Wellington House, and we know from the dog tag that Charles Masterman and Wellington House are huge in this Easter egg, with the C and the M and the W and the H. Now, H.G. Wells worked with Masterman, and he's known, like, he is so famous around the world. But why is this important? So... Remember at the start of the easter egg when we were getting the morse code We were getting Edward, George, London, little arrows So the Wellington house is set up in London Edward worked with Charles Masterman and H.G. Wells' second name happens to be George Why is this important? Because Essentially H.G. Wells is known throughout the world as being a great storyteller He's written books such as The Time Machine and War of the Worlds. Now, why is that important? Because in The Time Machine, the film, there are talking rings. Now, that just sounds... What the hell are you trying to link that to? Well, talking rings. Records are essentially rings. And the film essentially focused on these rings that when Span talked about the future and what the next steps were to do and I think that's what the records are for I think that's what that's what they are, they're, they are rings and I think in the next update they're going to tell us something through music or voice or somehow we're going to have to manipulate this to find out why and how now also uh, the machine part of this is I think it links into the time machine, the H.G. Wells thing. As we were just talking about then, the, the rings in the film, he goes back in time in the time machine, he has to bring something back from the future to prove he's been to the future. I think we're gonna have to do that. I think we're gonna have to go back in time with the machine. Bear in mind that the last Morse code message said that save the machine. When people manipulated it and took out all the Morse code, they said that they thought they could hear save the machine. I think what we're going to have to do is head back in time with the time machine after listening to the record and what the record has to tell us. And therefore it will lead us on to the next bit. But that's going to be all for this video. This has been my sort of views on where this easter egg is going and where it could lead. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. As always I try and bring you something unique. I'm not sure how many people have covered that the records actually change positions and where the positions are on the maps. And I feel like I'm, I'm showing you that. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. And hopefully in the next spring update, which is really close, we will do it. And we will find something out. But before we go, I just want to say thank you so much. We're nearly at 400 subscribers. 
nearly going to break the milestone of 500 and then 1000 you get in the face real guys. But that's all and as we end off, here is the record that's changed position. So thanks guys, let me know what you think down below, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, comment down below because you know I read all your comments, I put a little heart to show you I have and I'll catch you in the next video.